welcome to 15 Minute Theatre, the only review show that squeezes the whole production into 900 seconds. The date is the 24th of April 2019, and we have just been to see The Mousetrap. <laughs> Open the hatch. James. How are you? I'm what, perfectly, perfectly well, perfectly thank you. Well. How are you? Oh, I'm spiffing, thank That you. is wonderful. So we've just been to see a murder mystery. Yes, we have. A very long-running murder mystery. It has been running. Well, apparently, the original opened in 1952. Uh, it trans- I can't remember when it transferred uh, to the current theatre, but it's been there ever since. Ever what? since. Many, many, many shows. Oh my goodness, so many. All right, so I shall give you a, a few facts about it. I wish you would. It was written by the one and only Agatha Christie. <gasps> Agatha Christie. Agatha Christie. Um, directed by Ian Talbot. And I've got three notable actors here. Uh, Dan Burton playing Giles Ralston. Lynette Edwards played Mrs Boyle. And Hayley Flaherty played Molly Ross. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, going around the whole set over. Um, and, then, it, and then James got tired of writing. He didn't bother yeah. writing anymore. Yeah. So. Well, it's at the St Martin's Theatre. Yep. And it's running forever, hopefully. It's the longest running uh, show and play ever. And it's a two hours and ten minutes with an interval. Oh, thank goodness thank for that. Thank goodness. And we enjoyed the interval, didn't we? We had a little drink. Yeah, we had a lovely time. Yeah. All right, so can you give us, without spoiling the plot, a synopsis? So there is a, a, a young youngish couple who have uh, been married for about a year who decide they've got, they've, and she's inherited a big old house and they decide to run a guest house and they have a terrible snowstorm and the guests turn up and then uh, they hear news on the wireless <laughs> of, a, of a murder in uh, London, I think. <laughs> and, uh, and then the, p- uh, the police call and uh, say that they want to come over and check some people out so then they believe there's a murder amongst their mists and who could it be well we can't say we yeah. don't know don't and, we and will there be any more murders oh, who knows well we do but we can't say yes okay so um what did you think i thought it was a real light-hearted romp yeah it's rip-roaring fun i thought it was good fun wasn't yeah. it yeah i mean it, it it's not um the most intelligent deep play that i've ever seen um, no, and I, I, I also wouldn't say it has the best cast we've ever seen <laughs> either. <laughs> some, of, some of them were really good. There was quite a bit of Harry acting going on, wasn't there, really? Uh, yeah, and I think probably a lot of it was purposeful. Yes. Um, so uh, let's talk a little bit about the actors. I did think the guy who played Giles uh, was just born for that part. Yes. He, his, his mannerisms and timing was... Um, just the right amount of over the top. Um, and, you know, it's, it was very enjoyable to watch, as was his wife, Molly. Um, but for me, I think the favourite was uh, Mrs Boyle, uh, who played like a kind of cantankerous, uh, mature lady, let's say, who didn't suffer fools gladly. No. No, she was good. Are you even listening to this? I'm just checking, because I, I'm not... Uh, we, did, we didn't see this today. And I'm just trying to check the, the names of all the characters so I can remember who they all are. <laughs> <laughs> um, did, did, did you um, think any performances were weak? Yes. Me too. Who did I think was weak? Uh, the, the, detec- the Detective Sergeant Trotter, I didn't. Yeah, it, it, was, I didn't like, love. it was very breathy acting, wasn't it? Yeah. Very tired acting, Mrs. Boyle. <sighs> it was a lot like that, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, also, I, d- I thought the young lad wasn't great. No, he wasn't great either. Christopher Wren. Oh, yes. <coughs> so nice. Yeah. Um, do you know what I think about murder mysteries? What do you think? That they're not that hard to do. I think you just work backwards. So if I was going to write a murder mystery, which I have done many times, yeah. um, I'd just work out what happens at the end and then 
trace it backwards, add a few red herrings and a few plot uh, clues, and that's it. Are you dissing Agatha Christie? Well, it could have been any of them, couldn't it, really? Because you know I love Twyla and Marple very, very much. Do you think she's really, really, really clever at doing murder mysteries? I think she just writes great stories, good characters. I bet she wrote backwards. Well, I don't know. We can't ask her because she sadly passed. Yeah, I'm afraid so. Um, but what did you think of the plot? Um, well, I didn't guess who it was, did I? No, but I think, to be honest, you it was a one in eight chance. It could have been any of them. Yeah. And they could have justified it any way they wanted. They, they managed to throw suspicion on every single one of the characters, didn't they? Yes. In some way. A bit over the top in some way. In some, but we can't say why and who. Cause yeah, some, were, some, of dangerous the, ground here. some of the reasons were a little bit weaker than others. Um, well, I mean, it's, it's a t- well, I wouldn't say it's typical Agatha Christie, but I, I think sometimes her plots are a bit more complicated than that. Yeah, I th- but, you know, it's run and run and run and run and run. So there must be a reason for that. It's really good fun. Um, so what did you think of the set? Oh, I really like the set. It's a, it's a... It's, I didn't see it, it's obviously had modifications, but it's, it's, it's it looks exactly the same as when it opened. Yeah, it's the living room of this old, it's a manor house, isn't it? It's the li- living room of the old house and the with doors leading off and steps. And yeah, to lots of off. places and, you know, they seem yeah. to get to, uh, around very quickly. There's quite a big joke, isn't there, when they go in one door and then come around yeah. the other and they don't know how they got there so quickly. <laughs> um. Yeah, but I thought the set worked very well. Yeah. And the costumes, you know, um, and also the music. I, I think that was all original as well. There was one thing that annoyed me about the costumes. The older lady, uh, uh, Mrs Boyle, she, her shoes looked a bit new. But other than that, I thought they were all perfect. <laughs> New shoes. Well, maybe she's just got some new shoes. Maybe. Yeah. I don't think the sh- costumes have to be as old as the running. No, I don't like. mean. I mean, they didn't look like right. they were of the time. But maybe they were, and I just don't know my maybe history. Maybe they were. Okay. Um. What about like in special effects? There wasn't much, was there really? There was some snow outside. Well, there was a bit when it all went dark. That was exciting. They turned the lights off at one point. Ooh. <laughs> Better in the dark. Yeah. Uh. That was about it, really, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, okay, so anything you didn't like? Uh, not particularly. I just, yeah, I, I didn't really have expectations for it, so it's fine. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I did. You know, I, did. I, did, I had fun all the way through. It was yeah. a fun thing to watch. Yeah. And that, you know, it's, it's not always fun going to the theatre. No, sometimes it's hard work. It really is, especially when we ha- have to go as many times as we do. We don't have to go as many times. We'd go more if people offered, asked us to go and gave us free tickets. Well, that would be wonderful, that'd wouldn't be it? That would be great if you're listening. I'd go every night. Every night? Well, 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 well. well. Maybe, not, maybe not Sunday, because <laughs> nothing's on on a Sunday. Nothing's on on a Sunday. Okay, uh, what was your standout moment? Oh, gosh. Um, I'm not sure I have one. What was yours? Well, I quite liked the bit, I think it was the following day, and Mrs Boyle was sat by the fire, and, you know, um, someone was reading um, a magazine, someone was just lounging, someone was listening to the radio, it was all very pre-TV. Oh, and the, and the, the younger lady put on, um, what was her name? da 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 Whatever, Miss Casewell, she put on some music that really annoyed <laughs> Mr. Boyle to make her leave. She was a riot, wasn't she? Wasn't she? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, great. Well, there we go. That's it, I suppose. Yeah. Shall we um, have a break and then score this wonderful little bit of mystery? Oh, yeah, let's have a little It'll break. Be a mystery what the scores are. <laughs> until we were <reveal. laughs> Okay, so before we do the scores, let's have a little chat about audience antics. Well, well we had a bit of a problem, didn't we? Yeah, remind me. <laughs> so, <laughs> we um, got, uh, got ourselves there in plenty of time, didn't we? Yep. Got a nice photograph by the number of performances. Do you remember that? Because uh, they yes. have a sign oh, yeah. with a number of performances. Um, yep. And we got a picture with that, but you looked a bit rough. So, so we, we, can, we can't use no, that. No, we can't use that. Um, but then we went and got our seats and we were very settled. Yep. And then this couple came up and basically said we're sat in their seats and we were like no we're not yeah and yes we were we were we were on the wrong level yeah we, we thought we had lovely seats <laughs> in the stores but we didn't <laughs> we were upstairs yeah but actually the theatre is quite small isn't it and yeah so we had really good uh, good seats where great, we, where we great seats to. great seats uh yeah so that's about it really yeah i'd say the i'd say but the it was a race against time before the show started wasn't it? Because we 
we had to like virtually run to our oh, new yeah. seats. Oh yes, but well, that was quite exciting, Phew, wasn't it? Just in time. It wasn't full, was it? But it, it was early on in the week, and you know people were busy. Yeah. So it was fine. Right, should we score with that? Yeah, okay. Okay, performances. Well, I'll kick us off with a rip roaring seven. Yeah, I'll probably go for a seven. I went. I'd probably go a bit less, but I still... We'll go less then. Well, no, so be nice. I'm going for no, a seven. No, don't be I'm yourself. I'm going for a seven. I'm going for seven. <laughs> Staging and technical. Well, the set's good, but there's not much technical stuff, and the set's been there for a million years. So, seven. Yeah, I'll probably go seven. Narrative and plot. Again, it gets a seven for me. Um, you know, it was fun. I really enjoyed it, but it wasn't like, oh, my God. It, it, yeah. You know. <coughs> Yeah, do you know what? I'm going for seven as well. <laughs> Originality. Ooh, it's it, not original at all, no, is it? No, it gets a five for me. I was going to go for a five. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> we really agree on this one, don't we? Costumes. I like the costumes very much. I'm going to give it a nine. I'll go for an eight. Ooh. And was it worth it? I'll go for an eight. Gets a nine for me. It's certainly worth it. All right, so while I add up these wonderful scores, would you be kind enough to tell the listener what we are going to see? Yes, we, we are going to see 9 to 5, the musical, which I'm secretly hoping Dolly Parton's going to appear in, but I don't feel that's going to happen. It's had, I, I mean, I don't really like to read reviews of things before I go and see them because I feel like it makes me think something and I like to go with an open mind, So I, but I, I have heard it's had mixed reviews, so we shall see, we shall see. It'll have some good songs in it anyway, won't it? Scores, yeah. uh, scores are on the doors. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, finger using his fingers. Using my fingers. Has anybody seen my fingers? All right, so it gets a 15 minute theatre rating of 3.58. Where does that put that on the leaderboard? Let's, shall we have a look? Yeah, go on then. 3.58. Puts it uh, just above Hades Town, but below Fiddler on the Roof. Well, it was good fun. It was good fun. Yeah. Uh, I think that's about right for it, really. It's not the most original, but it is definitely worth seeing. And it was nice. Yeah, I really think I'd say it was nice not to see Meat Puppet Face. It's a nice, light, fun evening out. Should we tell the people, as soon as we tell the listener who did it? No! <laughs> so we get into trouble for the theatre. You have to make a promise they come on at the end and tell you not to <laughs> say, don't they? It's a secret! Oh, I'm doing a it? gesture! Oh, don't, don't <laughs> give it away! Don't give it away! Oh, that's brilliant. And listen, there was a very traditional sound in theatre bell from 50 years ago. I bet it sounds the same. Exactly the same. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I I, sorry, no, I heard it. I know it sounds the <laughs> same. So, um, I'm afraid once again, that's us done, Vicky. So I'll see you soon for the next show. For sure. For the curtains down, the fist of talk, and that was 50 Minutes Theatre. Good night. Good night. If you're brave enough to have your theatre production reviewed, please contact us at 15minutetheatre at gmail.com. Find us on Twitter and please rate and review us on iTunes. Thanks for listening.